Hello, everybody. Father Stephen Imbrano, ProtestChildKilling.com, ProtestChildKilling.com. The featured link is my YouTube channel. If you're watching me on YouTube, thank you. If you're not watching me on YouTube, one of the other platforms, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Invite your family and friends to also subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Again, you can access my YouTube through my website, ProtestChildKilling.com. Access my website through YouTube. All right, so... Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about Elon Musk today. We're going to pray today. Today is the miracle of the sun, the great Fatima miracle, right? And uh, what year was that? Is this like the 150th anniversary or what? It can be the 150th anniversary. Can it be? No. 100th anniversary? Miracle of the sun? Can't be, right? Nineteen seventeen. So it is seventeen. No, so ninety eighty ninth eighty ninth miracle eight eighty ninth seventeen seventeen. So twenty seven would be a hundred and ten, right? So we're talking about right. So it's over a hundred years, right? Over a hundred years. Miracle of the Sun. So it's October 13th. Yesterday we missed uh, Carlo Cuno, Acutis, Carlos Acutis, uh, beatified. Um, missed that yesterday. So I'm sorry for all the uh, Carlo Acutis uh, fans out there. Uh, of course, known for his, uh, his youth, his holiness, his saintliness, and of course, uh, his... Uh, fostering uh, supporting of the Eucharist. Uh, and I think he's going to be a great saint. I think he is a great saint. Well, today I want to talk about someone who's not a saint, maybe far from being a saint, not even Catholic, Elon Musk. I want to talk to him about, I want to talk to him, because there's, there's many dimensions to this guy, and I don't know all the dimensions, but one of the smartest men in the world. Uh, some people think that he is the most ingenious man in the world. Uh, um, could be one of the smartest men in the world. Uh, uh, definitely one of the most accomplished men in the world. The richest man in the world, for sure. So uh, we're going to talk about Elon Musk. Today also is uh, St. Gerard of Aureliac. Aureliac? Aureliac? Aureliac. Aureliac. Okay, and he was uh, 10th century, 10th century, died in 909. All right, so Miracle of the Sun today, October 13th, 1917. So what did I say today? Yeah, so, yeah, it's hard to believe, 110 years, 100 and, um, uh, yeah, it, it really is hard to believe. Somebody had posted something the other day about, 1974. So 1974, I graduated college. I graduated college 50 years ago. 50 years ago, I graduated college, right? I graduated college 50 years ago in June, so more than 50 years ago, right? I was actually in graduate school now uh, 50 years ago. All right, so uh, we're going to talk about uh, Elon Musk, the different aspects of Elon Musk, the accomplishments of Elon Musk, my opinion of Elon Musk. And uh, yeah, so let's start off, though, as we do all the time. Check out my math. So I already uh, celebrated Mass this morning for the 28th Sunday of Ordinary Time. It's almost the end of the liturgical year. It will be, as I said, Halloween's right around the corner, All Saints Day, Thanksgiving. All right, we'll be opening up Christmas presents soon, that's for sure. We're going to be in Boston for the Men's March, the Men's March to Abolish Abortion Rally for Person, November 16th, themensmarch.com, themensmarch.com. All right, let's uh, do our opening prayers as we always do. Let's invoke St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle, be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. 
And do thou print to the heavenly host by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. Let's consecrate ourselves to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy, our life, our sweetness, and our hope. To thee we cry. For banished children of Eve, to thee we send up our sighs. Mourning and weeping this valley of tears, turn them most gracious advocate, his eyes of mercy towards us. And after this, our exile show unto us the blessed fruit of thy womb, Jesus, O clement, O loving. O sweet Virgin Mary, pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promise of Christ. Let us pray. <clears throat> Remember, O most blessed Virgin. Remember, O most blessed Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone who fled to thy protection, implored thy help, or sought thy intercession, was left unaided, inspired with this confidence. We fly unto thee, O Virgin of Virgins, our Mother. To you we come before you. We stand sinful and sorrowful. Our Mother, the Word incarnate, despise not our petition, but in thy clemency. <coughs> Hear and answer us. Amen. All right, so Elon Musk just, I don't know, maybe an hour ago, launched a rocket in Texas, Starship Mega Rocket, and returned it to the launch pad after a test flight. The super heavy booster. Now this is the booster, right? So you have the booster and then the 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 uh, the uh, spaceship, so to speak, right? The starship, starship, and the booster, right? And uh, it takes off, right? Launches, and of course the booster after it gets into basically subgravity orbit, all right, takes off, detaches, and and the, the spaceship, the starship goes up into orbit, right? And these boosters, he has been returning to Earth, sometimes to the launch pad, on a platform. He's been landing them on a platform or a platform out in the ocean. I mean, absolutely amazing. And I've watched these many times. I've watched so many launches here in uh, uh, down at Cape Canaveral. I've been at Cape Canaveral, but I can see them from my front yard. Uh but this time, he had the launch pad itself and a couple of what they call chopsticks, right, claws, and the the uh, booster came back down and they grabbed the booster. Um, uh, 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 an amazing, um, super futuristic, right, Ama a futuristic looking, amazing um, uh, engineering, aeronautic engineering uh, accomplishment right if you see it and you go to youtube and check it out uh, i don't have pictures of it i have a picture of it but i don't have the the video i saw the video on x all right of course um, um x belongs to uh, uh must too right so yeah so the fact is that elon musk is known probably far more for tesla and uh, who, which Tesla is slowly but surely failing, failing in one respect, and I'm going to explain something to you so that you understand why I predicted a year ago he'd get out of Tesla. He'll get out of Tesla sooner or later, uh, but uh, I'll tell you why in a minute, why he remains in Tesla, even though he knows the future of the electric car market is for naught. Uh, although he's pushing it. And if anybody can actually bring it to successful fruition, uh, Elon Musk uh, can and will. Um, if anyone's capable of expanding alternative en uh, energy, whether it be uh, uh, laser panels, um, 
electric cars, uh, you know, the e Elon Musk has a better chance of doing it than anyone, anyone else, and better than any government, that's for sure. So he's known for Tesla, he's known for X, right? He's known for Twitter, buying Twitter, turning it into X. But to me, his most amazing accomplishment is founding SpaceX in 2002. So you're talking about a little over 20 years ago, and and he's launching two rockets a week. If you, I, I have a, I have an app called Space Launch uh, that basically notifies me anytime there's a launch anywhere in the world, anywhere in the world, right? It doesn't matter. And he has launch pads in California, in Texas, and California's trying to kick him out, believe it or not. I mean, you know, nobody nobody ever accused uh, California of having any brains, any wisdom, any foresight, that's for sure. They're looking to kick him out. And because they're ticked off because he's moving, he's moving X out of California. He's moving X out of California, so they want to kick uh, Twitter out. I mean, they want to kick... Uh, 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 SpaceX out of California. It's a, it's a little goofy, right? Um, so anyway, but he's got uh, Cape Canaveral. And and between the three launch pads, I mean, he launches two rockets a week. Two rockets a week. I mean, and these rockets are loaded with satellites, all right? Uh, communication satellites, Starlink, right? And that's what he does. He has businesses pay him to launch communication satellites up into orbit. And he's making billions and billions and billions of dollars off of this, right? Twitter X is probably marginally profitable, although it's probably now. At one time they were saying that it was losing money. He's probably making money now and with the ads and everything else. And then, of course, the, the monthly fees, he's probably uh, making money hand over fist. Now, the reason Tesla, now Tesla may or may not be making money to talk about uh, his uh, sales going down, all right. Uh, but from what I understand, the electric vehicle industry, and particularly Tesla, and what Elon Musk is most interested in is the self-driving technology. That, that's what he wants, the self-driving technology. Uh, he wants to be on the leading edge of self-driving technology. And we see now, if you rent a car, if you don't have a brand new car, my car is 12 years old, my truck is 12 years old, there's no self-driving technology, but I've rented cars, brand new cars that have self-driving technology. I've been out in Arizona where they have those, uh, what do they call them, those self-driving cars that look like futuristic cars. But that's that's what they, and, and, and again, that's why they say that Uber, as much as Uber's losing money, all right, uh, Uber's in the business of, of uh, it's the GPS technology, right, the self driving technology that is most important uh, to these people. And so that's why he may stay uh, keep uh, a Tesla for that technology. And then of course he has X for the communication technology. And then of course he has SpaceX. Um, and it's just absolutely amazing what he's been able to accomplish. So. He's an amazing guy, richest man in the world, getting richer, and he's really moving to be more and more conservative. I mean, that that is obvious, and he's recently jumped on the Trump bandwagon. Uh, he is all, all on board with Trump. Now, he's a foreign national. I don't know if he's a U.S. citizen now. But the liberals are up in arms that uh, Elon Musk owning Twitter, this communication, uh, this media uh, 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 behemoth, if you want to call it, right, uh, may influence the election, that he can influence the election, right? Now, these liberals are just, and as many, many people pointing out, this is not me, all right? This is not my wisdom, 
right? I gave you wisdom yesterday with Biden throwing Kamala Harris under the bus, and I've been on top of the whole Biden, Kamala Harris since 2020, and I just laid it all out yesterday. That I have wisdom on. I, I don't have wisdom on, the, but but I, I understand exactly what's going on, right? So you have Soros, Zuckerberg, all right, or Zuckerberg could be coming over to the conservative side. Uh, there's some indications of that. Um, but you have Zuckerberg. Uh, you have a lot of the, the, the big uh, social media people, the tech people, who are on board with um, uh, election manipulation, right? Disinformation, misinformation, right? You have the whole incident with the Hunter Biden laptop and uh, Russia Gate, all of these things, right? Uh, Google, right, with the algorithms, and uh, we we just we just saw it the other day. Yesterday, I was on the phone with a friend of mine, and he gave me a website, and uh, I put it into Google, and the website didn't come up. Put in the website, right, his his eliminate late dot com, eliminate late dot com, innocuous, right, eliminate late dot com. The website didn't come up on Google. Put it into DuckDuckGo, same thing, came right up came right up. In uh, EliminateLate.com, in Google, everything and anything else came up, but his website, DuckDuckGo, the website came right up, right? So this is the type of nonsense that Google's involved with. So many of these, these liberal, high-tech media companies, communication companies, right? Soros, Zuckerberg, Google, right? Uh, they, they, they're, they're, they're players for the liberals, right? And of course, the liberals love this stuff. They have no problems with that. As a matter of fact, they have no problems using these people to label anything conservative disinformation or misinformation, right? Now, Moss, the richest man in the world, is getting into the game, and he's getting into the game on the conservative side, and they're all up in arms that this can't be, that he needs to be suppressed, he needs to be, you know. And this just goes to show how evil these people are, how evil they are, and how dictatorial they want to be. They will claim that Trump wants to be the dictator, that Trump is the dictator, but these people are the dictators. The liberals are dictators. Socialist, right? Communist, the dictators, right? Um, and 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 people need to wake up and and understand this, right? Including liberal people themselves, the average liberal person, all right, who thinks that socialism's okay. Do they think they're going to escape or have a better life under socialism or communist regimes such as Kamala Harris will offer Joe Biden? A Barack Obama? No, this is it's it's insane. It's insane. Your freedoms are going to come from conservatism, right? That's it. Freedom of speech, freedom of assembly, uh, freedom of religion, freedom of conscience, right? Um, and 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 it, it, it's it's unbelievable. They think they're going to get a fair shake. The LBGTQ people think they're going to get a fair shake from liberals. When they completely dominate the government, when it's a, a, tol, a, a totalitarian government, authoritative government, right? These people are going to become so marginalized, right? So persecuted. They, they're going to wonder even what hit them, right? I mean, it's just such naivety. It's really a stupidity. It's a depravity, actually, ultimately. Um, so, so you have all this stuff... Mosque is becoming more and more uh, prominent in the spotlight. He's putting his uh, money on, on uh, Trump. I think he realizes that if the liberals get into office, they will try and eradicate him. I don't think he's supporting Trump because he's looking for something from Trump other than maybe a hands-off attitude, right? Uh, Trump, Trump being elected is not going to be good for Tesla, right? Trump being elected is not going to be good for Tesla. 
Trump being elected will be good for SpaceX. So that just goes to show what, what Elon Musk thinks is most important to him. SpaceX or Tesla. It's, it's SpaceX. It's, that's the future. That's the future. And then, of course, he just wants to have freedom of speech, all right, with X. Um, so, yeah, is Elon Musk evil? I, I think he's becoming more and more conservative. I think he's being influenced by the Jordan Petersons of the world and some other people from the world that he, he, he suspects. Uh, I think we see people like Trump, in spite of the fact that he's thrown the babies under the bus, become pro-choice, um, moving towards this this understanding that uh, uh, God needs to be honored, God needs to be respected, that God ultimately is under control, is in control, right? Uh, he's allowing us to get out of control, maybe as a chastisement or... or uh, uh, an illumination of conscience, that's what I said, right? A, an awakening, right? A warning, a chastisement, illumination of conscience. Are we in a period of darkness? Uh, if, if things go, go badly, right, go wrong uh, in November, we are going to go even quicker, I think, into a period of chastisement and also uh, darkness. So, uh, so yeah, and I, and I said it yesterday, you know, I'm leaning more and more back to Trump because he's not talking about abortion. Every single time he talks about abortion, it says the wrong thing. It tears a scab off of a wound that I have uh, because that is my primary focus, right? And I'm not going to tolerate him denigrating the, uh, the, 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 the efforts to abolish abortion. But is he the best bet to abolish abortion? Absolutely he is. Um, if we can get our acts together, if he becomes president. Um, so indeed, um, I'm moving back towards supporting Trump as opposed to being ambivalent about Trump. Um, but as I've said, I'm a, I'm a realist. I'm a pragmatist. I'm being objective. And we had the questionable Trump, right, the unknown Trump in 2016 got 63 million votes. Pro-life Trump got 73 million votes. How many votes is he going to get now? They're saying that 30 million Christians do not vote. 30 million Christians do not vote. Well, it's getting, I think, it's, 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 we're coming up on a period of time where it's becoming too late to register. I don't think that these 30 million Christians who do not vote are even registered to vote. Because don't forget, I think we had like 96%. And of course, we don't know if it's on the up and up, if it was legitimate. 96% of registered voters, the number of registered voters, the number of cast ballots represents... 96% of the registered voters. Now, of course, we don't know these ballots were cast whether they were registered voters or not, all right, uh, in 2020. All right, uh, so, um, yeah, so there's a movement now to getting Christians to come out and vote. I don't think Trump is helping himself in that regard. Uh, maybe he'll wise up in the last three weeks. We're only three weeks out. That's it, three weeks out, and it's going to be all over. So, Lord, have mercy on us. All right, so Elon Musk, keep doing your thing. A Lady of Fatima, intercede for us. Carlo Kudas, intercede for us. Let's see if there's anything worth uh, noting on my uh, Facebook page. I don't think there is. Finally getting some traction with some people in regards to this whole uh, man-made hurricane, uh, man-piloted hurricane, right? Where these people think that somehow uh, we are, we're, we're creating these hurricanes, right? We're creating hurricanes 
and we're steering the so we're creating these hurricanes and we're steering them to Asheville, North Carolina, all right, because of the ports. All right, we're steering them to this um, uh, this what rock I forget, right? Because there's there's lithium there, right? We're steer. This is nonsense. This is crazy. And, and again, it's coming out and it's being exposed to these people who want to talk about the patents and also want to talk about uh, 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 cloud seeding. Cloud seeding and patents. Somebody pointed out that there's patents for time travel. That doesn't mean that we can do time travel, right? So patents for weather manipulation doesn't mean we can manipulate the weather. Can we manipulate the weather? Can we seed clouds and make it rain? Can we break up systems and, and cause them to be less dangerous? That's maybe entirely possible. I don't know. But that's not what we're talking about. People are saying that these hurricanes are being created and then steered to certain places to wreak havoc. And then they use Maui as an example. Well, what happened in Maui was not the creation of a natural disaster. It was a fire. Could have been a man-made fire. Could have been a man-made fire. Fires can be lightning, right? Or man-made. So you have a huge fire and somebody says, well, you know, man-made fire to wipe out a particular area. All right. So I'm, I'm not going to discount that. Right. But earthquakes, volcanoes, hurricanes. No, I'm sorry. Man can't create earthquakes, can't create volcanoes, can't create hurricanes. All right. These type of, of natural disasters are beyond anything that man can do. This is God's uh, uh, purview. This is God's, this is, you know, germane to God, all right? And so I'm not going to deal with any of this nonsense, right? It's, it's nonsense, right? And especially if you just do a little research of the history of hurricanes over the decades, you'll see that it's random, Right, it's 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 random and it's cyclical, right? Surely cyclical and random, right? You'll have two hurricanes hit like this year, like what was it, 2004? I think they said what was it? Maybe 2000. Well, uh, you know, two two major hurricanes back to back here in Florida, and then you know, no major hurricanes for a certain length of time. Uh, it's pointed out that all the major hurricanes are hitting the Gulf and the peninsula, the peninsula and the panhandle. The Atlantic side doesn't get it. Why? Because the Gulf water is warmer than the Atlantic water. All right. And as warm as the Atlantic water and the Gulf water this year, it makes sense that we had a strong hurricane season. So we need to think this out. We need to be reasonable. We need to be rational. And I'm not going to tolerate or have any patience for things that are irrational, things that are, ir and especially when you point it out or you challenge people about how irrational they're being, how unreasonable they're being, and they double down, they double down with absurd, you know, they, they, it's, 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 you know, they don't want to deal with the facts you present them, right? So, you know, I, 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 I tell them that, look at, there's no way we're creating hurricanes and and steering them to particular locations for nefarious reasons. Well, what about Maui? Ma Maui wasn't a hurricane. What about what about COVID? And and about, what what's that got to do with you know? Look at I believe that that was a man-made fiasco. I I believe all of the conspiracy theories about all of that. I believe all that. Because you can reasonably see that, that that's capable of, of man creating that type of disaster. Is man created, is, is man capable of wiping out? Is man capable of wiping out mankind? Absolutely, absolutely. Where I take issue with is how can they do it? 
Can they do it? Can they do it with chemical poisoning, viral poisoning, disease? Absolutely. There's no doubt in my mind. And, and, and if this, the, what, then why don't they do that? Well, I, I think they're setting us up for something like that. They're trying to figure out how to keep themselves safe. But these man-made, uh, these natural disasters, we, we, we need to use our brains, our reason, you know, to separate what, what is capable, right? What is, what is man capable and then what is the, 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 uh, Germain to God, all right, the domain of God, right? I mean, and so again, I have no, I have no, I have no time for and patience for this. And, and people can call me uncharitable and everything else. I don't much care. St. Joseph, intercede for us, my patron saint, born on the feast of St. Joseph, March 19th. Our Lady of America, intercede for us. This approved USCCB private devotion. There's the statue of Our Lady of America. Just showed you the diary and the image. The image is in my chapel. The image is on my wall over there. Large images, small image in my camper, Our Lady of America.com. Approved USCCB private devotion. And then we pray for those who suffer physical and spiritual trials and tribulations every day. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All right, go to my YouTube channel and go to my go to protestchildkilling.com and you can find my my uh, home address. Send me send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, and I'll send you a packet of these prayer cards for every envelope you send me. And uh, my address is the one in Florida. Let's pray for the Pope, bishops, and priests. Father in heaven, we thank you for your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, who through his death and resurrection has given us the hope of eternal happiness with you, Father. Send your Holy Spirit upon the Pope, all bishops, and all priests, that they may be for us bold witnesses of faithful love for the church. Remain for us examples of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. St. Joseph, St. Stephen. Uh, intercede for the Pope, all bishops, and all priests, especially in their hour of need. Our Lady Guadalupe, intercede for the conversion of the world and the end of the daily mass murder of pre-born children. Uh, let's uh, pray for all those who suffer physical and spiritual trials and tribulations. Did we pray for them? Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women. Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen. For Abby Johnson, Lila Rose, Kristen Hawkins, Margie Dan and Felsa, Frank Pavone, Sean Carney, Lauren Mazuka, all the leaders of the mainstream corporate pro-life movement, that they have a change of their heart and minds, and they start uniting around and uh, focusing in on the abolition of abortion through constitutional personhood from the moment of conception. That is what we're hoping uh, that they get around to, and we're praying for that. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus, holy Mary, mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death, amen. Uh, realestateforlife.org, realestateforlife.org, if you're buying a home, selling a home, moving from a blue state to a red state, within a red state, from a red state to a red state, you need a home, buying a home, need to sell a home, you're moving, realestateforlife.org, and they will send part of their commission. The realtor who they get you will send part of the commission to a pro-life activist, pregnancy resource center where you want it donated. It can be to me if you want, but at least tell them I sent you. You don't have to donate. You don't have to designate me by any means. Uh, but tell them I sent you. I'd really appreciate it. Uh, realestateforlife.org. Or your daily offering, offer up your entire day to Jesus and ask him to shed mercy upon all of your intentions, your personal intentions, family intentions, health intentions, ministerial intentions. And again, check out my mass, my homily, Eucharistic adoration from this morning. I love you. 
pray for me. I'll pray for you. Remember, the themensmarch.com, rallyforpersoner.com, November 16th in Boston. Go to both those websites. Again, you can get all these websites at protestchildkilling.com or my YouTube channel. Again, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Invite your family and friends to go to my YouTube channel. I love you. Pray for me. I'll pray for you, man. Mighty God bless you, Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Amen. Go out into the world today, my friends, and give them heaven.